Welcome to Electronic Geek. In this video, we shall be seeing what is PWM that is pulse width modulation and we will also see a small example of how to control a speed of motor with the help of a PWM signal. So let's get started. So what is PWM? In layman's language, if I say PWM is a way of digitally representing an analog signal. If you see here, uh, this is a square wave or you can call it as a digital signal uh, which has only two states high and low. This is the low that is logic 0. Uh, it represents 0 volt and this is logic 1 which uh, represents 5 volt. Suppose that you have a DC voltage source of let's say uh, 5 volts and uh, you measure the voltage across the uh, source then uh, every at every time uh, you will be seeing 5 volts on your uh, multimeter. The output you can uh, say that it is uh, constant with time. So your graph will be a simple straight line. Now uh, let's let's come to this example over here that you are having a battery of uh, 5 volts and uh, motor connected to it. Now uh, assume that the motor is rated for 5 volts. So uh, when you connect a battery of uh, 5 volts, the motor shall be rotating at its uh, full speed. Suppose you have to reduce the speed of this motor. This is where PWM comes in picture. So if I wish to reduce the speed of this motor, the uh, voltage across the motor should be low like uh, as this uh, motor is rated for 5 volts and it's running at its full speed um, if i reduce the supply voltage then it's pretty sure that uh, uh, the uh, speed of uh, rotation of motor will be uh, lowered and so what is happening in pwm is a constant voltage source is switched high and low uh, at some uh, fixed frequency uh, and this in turn uh, reduces the voltage at output now, uh, before seeing how it happens, uh, let's see a few terms uh, related to uh, PWM. So, the first is the amplitude of signal. So, this is the amplitude of the signal. Then, the other is the time period of the uh, our wave. So, the total time taken for signal uh, to go from here to here is called as the time period of uh, wave. The most important uh, uh, term is the duty cycle. Uh, so, uh, duty cycle is basically the uh, time for which the uh, pulse is on the or the signal is high divided by the total time period of the signal. So, if you see in this case, uh, if you consider, uh, consider by the grids, then our uh, signal is on for half of the time and off for the rest half of the time. So, if you calculate the duty cycle of our signal, then it's total time for which the signal is high divided by the total time period of the uh, entire uh, signal. Uh, assume this the time period of this uh, wave is uh, 2 seconds. So it's on for 1 second and off for 1 second. Thus the duty cycles shall be uh, 1 by 2 which is nothing but 50%. So this is how duty cycle of a wave is calculated. Now. Coming to the point how voltage gets uh, reduced at the output. So, uh, when the duty cycle of uh, the signal is let's say 50%, the signal is on only for half of the time. Or you can say signal is high for half of the time. So, if you are supplying 5 volts over a time, the average value of uh, voltage becomes 50% of it. So, uh, the output voltage when the duty cycle of the uh, wave is uh, set to 50% becomes 50% uh, of the input voltage, 5, that is uh, 2.5. So, the average voltage appearing on the output shall be 2.5 volts. So, th this is the main concept of PWM that uh, by varying the time period for which the wave is uh, high, you can actually get the uh, desired uh, voltage on the output. This, this could have been also done with the help of a resistor but across a resistor as you know there is a power loss and uh, with the help of PWM uh, the power loss is very minimum. So now as we have seen that uh, by controlling the uh, duty cycle of the signal we can actually control the uh, speed of a uh, motor. So let's first see how waveform with different duty cycle look and for that we are uh, going to use an oscilloscope. and this generator 
and here I'll keep the high voltage as 5 and uh, uh, right now it's 50% and the frequency I'll keep it at 100, 100 Hertz. Let's check the output. See, if you see the time period of your wave as uh, this T, then your signal is on for half of the time and off for half of the time. So this is what 50% duty cycle means. Let's change it to uh, 20% or oh, sorry. 25 rather. See, your signal is on for very less time and off for the rest of the time. So by doing this, you are reducing the output voltage and also the average power delivered, uh, delivered by the signal to load. So this is how you can control the voltage by applying signals have, uh, having duty cycle as per your need. So let's see how much RPM are we getting when a 5 volt is applied. So we'll run the simulation and uh, we'll see. See the RPM. It nearly it will nearly touch around 205. It's almost 200. See, it's uh, RPM is around uh, it's 206. Uh, seven. Okay, so uh, right now uh, if I wish to reduce the speed of motor So we will see how to use a PWM signal and how can we achieve uh, lesser RPM So remove all of these and use this Let's apply a 5 volt and I'm keeping the duty cycle to be 50% so as per our expectation the output should be 50% of 5 which is 2.5 volts and uh, frequency 100 hertz. Let's check the RPM. See, when the motor was running at 5 volts, uh, we were getting nearly 207 as the RPM and as uh, by using PWM, we have uh, reduced the uh, output voltage and right now it's 2.5 volt and see we are getting exactly half of the RPM at the output. So this is how, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this was all the concept of uh, PWM. This is it for this video. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and do give me your feedback in the comment section. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much.